Hi, my name is Maria Elisa Ayerbe, and I'm here today with Schwab Digital to present to you how to mix creatively with Gold Clip. Okay, so now we are here working with um, a group of stems that I took from a mix and master that I did from a song that I also produced. It's called Mil Gracias by the Ecuadorian artist Maga Cordoba. And uh, you're going to notice it's a pretty upbeat, uh, dance, clubby, uh, up-tempo song. And obviously our main character in this case, it's going to be the, the that interaction that happens between the bass and the kick. Let's check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we can use Gold Clip creatively on the drums. Um, usually people tend to associate clipping with uh, one of the last stages that you use for mastering, but with Gold Clip you can definitely get a little bit further from that because uh, Gold Clip not only allows you to clip, right, uh, which is uh, flattening those um, like the, those transients that are able to cut through the threshold. But uh, thanks to the gold um, algorithm and the alchemy algorithm, you're now introducing different flavors, as I call them. I like to refer to them as like salt and pepper. It's like, you know you want a little bit, but that there's a certain level of combination that makes your food just like yummy. So um, this is pretty cool, especially when you're trying to find different instances of your mix, uh, trying to get creatively, trying to bring some other elements ahead. And also like for, for a lot of people who basically because the industry works nowadays like this, you are forced or you have to work with a lot of printed stems. Uh, it, it is limiting and a plugin such as Gold Clip will definitely bring different things to your to your mixing capabilities and, and it's awesome to experience those. So um, the first thing that I want to do, just wanted to double check some stuff over here. Uh, the clip guard, um, I like to keep it off since this plugin, again, it's not going to be the last in my stage. Um, I don't want to leave it. I, I don't want the, the clip to take care of um, just basically making it true peak below zero. I don't care if something sticks out for now. Then the other thing that I also want to always have on is this question mark is it allows me to like um, take care of a lot of the of the doubts that I have in case like for example how do how do I handle the face when working with wet and dry so um, in this case because I already like what I got going on but I want to do something else to it I want to have the ability to do wet and dry reason why I'm going to be using linear case as recommended by uh, Schwab Digital. It's like what I was doing with that, basically, I don't know if you noticed, but I was I was noticing that only the claps were really crossing that threshold. So I found like a little combo between the amplit, like the overall gain on the input uh, stage and uh, dropping down the ceiling. And I, by ear, I figure out a way where I, I was basically clipping both kick and claps. Um, and also, I don't know if you noticed, but like changing the um, the tone on, on the, or the mode on the soft clipper, it felt like almost like doing some sort of like a uh, frequency change, a little bit the tone change. And that's because obviously that different shape that describes how the clipper is acting and how, and how that knee is just cutting those thresholds. So let's see which one I like the best. Yeah, definitely the heart brings some sort of like a extra push, like, 
like muscle that I really enjoy for this type of music. However, I am feeling that my low end is being compromised. So reason why I'm going to start experiencing with the low pass filter to see if I can, if I am able to like retain that rounded, uh, really cool feature that uh, the kick drum has by default. Most certainly, for sure, that definitely worked. All right, I'm liking this. Next up, I'm gonna start experiencing mm, with gold. All right, so let's turn it on. We have two different modes, um, modern and classic. Let's see what each one does. All right, so that's it. It's like, definitely, it's like you, something is, a lot of things are going on. First of all, you notice right away how when I'm in classic mode, um, this curve definitely describes how that signal is getting not only ob obviously loud, but it's getting excited and it's getting modified in different frequencies and different uh spectrums and that's really nice i feel like my kick is sort of like three-dimensional now maybe a little bit too much uh but reason why i am i'm, I'm starting gonna start playing with that wet to see how it combines and and overall i'm just looking for an additional element And I don't know if also you notice, but it, it feels like the claps and also like the side information is coming, like it, it, before it was in the background and sort of like being pushed forward. This is the, uh, that, that obviously that um, magnetic compression that is very subtle, but it, because it's very fast, it allows us to like grab those, uh, like those uh, shorter but lower transients and pull them uh, inwards. And now everything feels more upfront, which is kind of cool. I just got to make sure that I don't overdo it because it's not the same to have like kick and snare at the front and, and just have like kick and snare in the sort of like in the background. It's more of a stylistic kind of thing for this genre. So now I'm applying the box tone. The box tone is sort of like a filter. It's applying a high frequency contour and a low pass filter to that wet signal. So what it's doing, it's making sure that it's shaping and like easing out uh, those rough edges that happen when you're clipping. So this is a great addition to bring on. Obviously you go by ear, you're trying to, you have a goal and if it works out, it's just another thing that is gonna really help you uh, achieve that ideal sound that you're working with. Last but not least, let's activate alchemy and see what it does. All right, so now on top of everything else, I feel like between gold and alchemy, that's why I refer to them like kind of like salt and pepper. It's like one fill in the voids of the other one. So you, you have now an extra high frequency uh, and mid frequency uh, excitement in, in a certain type of band that it just basically helped to bring everything come forward. Now my image feels definitely wider. Everything is louder. Mind you that this is like in the mixing process, so I'm not technically looking for loudness, but 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 overall, when combined with, with the other elements, I am going to feel a lot more of those shakers, a lot more of those claps going on, those hi-hats, because I've pushed them into the, the, the front um, 
image, but also preserving uh, preserving that that smooth quality that they initially have. I mean, this is for maybe for other genres where I was looking into like having that har harmonic distortion up front right in there, but not for here. The reason why I'm still playing with the wet and dry. Um, but yeah, it's it's totally changed the way I I hear this. And in context, trying to recreate this with other plugins, it will at least you you will have to use. I'm 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 thinking about uh, multiband exciter. I'm thinking about maybe an expander. I'm thinking about also compression or, or some plugin that can do both. And you're also thinking maybe about doing multiband stuff. Well, you just did it with Cold Clip. So again, it's just another creative way of doing this. here now in context with everything how those claps are now able to sort of like cut through because um, those synths are very very present and very wide so with uh with gold clip i was able to make them come forward and preserving that roundness and that boldness and that punch from the kick that i really liked from the beginning so this is it thank you for joining us uh stay tuned for the upcoming videos bye